There's nothing very natural about how we interact with technology today. We rely on a binary system based on ones and zeros. It's a black and white system. The switch is either on or off. I refer to the single button mentality as the age of the mouse. It's also called the digital age. If you look around your house and think about all the technology being used, it's all based on the single button. In a single button world, there is no continuity between actions. There is no gravity, no magnetism. There is no flowing like water, no aurora borealis, and no motion like the flapping of a bird's wings. When we see the orbit of the moon or a raindrop falling to the earth, we are seeing the effects of gravity and other forces. Humans at an atomic level are constantly in motion. Our existence and the very definition of life is analog and full of motion. Binary or digital constructs are primarily man's attempt at interacting and controlling the forces around him. Until now, this has been the age we have lived under. My name is Jonathan Josephson and I'm the founder and CTO of Quantum Interface. Our mission is to make user interface experiences more natural, intuitive, intelligent, and immersive. We are ushering in the age of motion that uses a cognitive UI that's so effective and natural, you don't even know it's there. We as humans move in a straighter, faster line towards things we want. When we don't know what we want and are making up our minds, we wander and go back and forth until we make a decision. While making this decision, we use our eyes to scan, then have a slight pause near the thing we are desiring. Paying attention to the natural micro movements humans do as we make decisions can give us the information we need to predict what the user wants without them knowing they've told us anything. It feels like magic. Rather than making humans trigger a binary interface, we're creating an interface that responds to humans' natural behaviors. Everything in nature has a path associated with it. How it got there, where it is now, and a certain predictability of where it will be in the future. Our interface looks at the path of the user to predict where they are going rather than waiting for the user to reach the desired object. This is a revolutionary change that allows us to make choices and interact at virtually the speed of thought. When you factor in speed or direction, we have that much more useful information that can tell us things like your first and second choice. No other interface in the world can provide this. We built an example of how one might interact with a Netflix menu by using dynamic motion. The user sees the menu continuously appearing in the direction they are moving as they move. It's like seeing the highway unfold in front of you while you are driving. This kind of cognitive interface that predicts the path of the user will also revolutionize what will be possible with the internet of things. Objects will not only be able to sense that we're coming toward them, but we'll be able to take into account how quickly we're coming and respond accordingly. Just as a magnetic field gets stronger as you move closer to it, as we get closer to a desired object, we can cause the object to begin to move towards us and move at a faster rate the closer we get to it. When we're interacting with things spatially, we're using our brains in a more efficient and more natural way as well. Rather than just using our frontal lobe as we do with binary interfaces, we're using the middle brain, which is where the fastest processing and the most intuitive processing occurs. We cause things to happen typically four to 12 times faster than any known interface. There's so much wisdom and information to be gleaned from the complexity and beauty of the natural world. We're bringing the principles of the physical world to the virtual world, designing a human-centric cognitive UI that will enable creative platforms the world has never had before.